Why you bald? Why you asking a dumb question like that? Why you bald? Why you ugly? Why you bald? Why you asking a dumb question like that? Let me get this straight, Chris Jericho. Why you bald? Why you ugly? So, you heard that clip I just played. So you, so you were telling me a guy with a voice like that should be in the main events? You telling me a guy who, who, who talks like that? We got to take him seriously? Listen to how he talks. Like, all right, I listen to Jim Cornette all the time. And I always pay attention on what he looks for in a professional wrestler. The number one thing he brings up about Damian Priest is he talks like a grown, he talks like a grown man. He talks like a grown adult. He got bass in his voice. He talks like a grown ass man. Okay. Look. It's either Chris Jericho is trying to cater to the AEW neckbeards fucking version fans that he has. Or. Or maybe Jericho was always like this. Because remember, this is a guy that he wanted the fucking cruiserweight division back at WCW to main event shows. This is a guy that said the cruiserweights were having the best matches on Monday Night Nitro. This is a guy that used to bitch and complain that he was he was having he was having five star matches with Dean fucking Malenko on Nitro and nobody cared about it. Jericho, do you know why nobody cared about cared about that shit? Because we had Sting, Goldberg, Scott Hall, the NWO, Harlem Heat. We had those guys on your shows. People were paying money to see them. Not to see a 20 minute motherfucking cruiserweight match. And it's like Jericho is the last guy to, to fucking talk because this is a guy who wanted to get himself over in WCW, but not buy his matches. This is a guy who wanted attention. So he changed up his character. Remember he had fucking Rolfus? He won he wanted to stand out. He wanted to make a name for himself. He wanted to build himself a, a motherfucking character. So he won't fucking blend in with the rest of the fucking roster. Because he was getting no TV time when he didn't have a character. When he wasn't talking on a fucking microphone. In WCW. So Jericho, even even you know you need more than great matches to make people care about you. To make the office care about you. You need more than that. But let's get back to what he said. This this dude said to Adam Cole. How do you fuck up Ricochet? In the WWE. Let me tell you how you fuck him up. You put a microphone in his face. And he fucks himself up. That's how you fuck a ricochet. You put a motherfucking microphone in his face. You put him in a feud. With a guy who can talk. That's how you fuck a ricochet. You put him. In a feud with a guy who's motherfucking charismatic. That's how you fuck him up. You know what I'm saying? How do you fuck a ricochet? What kind of what? Like it's obvious how you fuck how you fuck him up. He fucked himself up. 
Nigga. Triple H said when he first signed Ricochet, he said that Ricochet was scared to do promos. That sounds familiar, huh? That sounds like Jungle Boy. It's like it just goes to show you. Look, man, look, 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 Ricochet. Take your ass to AEW because it seems like you, you got a lot of friends over there. Take your ass to AEW once your contract exp ex expires. Okay? Take your ass over there, man. Because it seems like the AEW audience, they don't care about guys who can talk. They don't, they don't care about charismatic guys. They don't care about guys with characters. Cause look at uh look at look at uh fucking uh Jack Perry. Motherfucking juggle boy. All he has is great in ring ability, but he can't talk. And he has no character. And yet fans like him. So, Ricochet, take your ass to AW. That's where all the that's where all the bland guys are at. Take your ass over there. That's what makes AW what it is today. You don't need to have a character or to talk. All you need is to do flips and hurricanes over the top rope. That's all. That's all they care about. That's all they care about. They don't care about Darby Allen, the fact that Darby Allen can't talk for shit. They don't care about that. They like his in-ring ability, huh? You see, that's what makes AW different in a bad way. Because their audience, they don't care about improvement. They don't care about character progression. They like their guys to be stagnant, to be complacent. They don't care about improvement. Look, if Jungle Boy didn't change up his character, and let's say they gave him the world title, nobody would care. People will say, congratulations. You see, the WWE audience they push you to get better because that's a hard audience to fucking impress bitch case at point motherfucking ricochet how come he's not how come he's not over hmm why is he not over how come there's no fans saying hashtag give ricochet a chance hmm how come nobody's capping for him because even the even the audience on Raw sees for what he is. He 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 he's just a fit looking dude who does flips and kicks and he can't talk. There's too many guys like that. There's too many of them. Go to go to AW, man. The WWE is the land of sports entertainment. Characters, you gotta talk. Oh yeah, oh yeah. By the way, I wanna, I wanna address, I wanna address this bullshit. So the Ricochet stands were saying, "Well, look at Goldberg. Goldberg sucks in the ring. Goldberg can't talk. Uh, no, nah, bitch. Goldberg can't talk. He is a good promo. Not a great promo, but he's a good promo. Goldberg was always a good, a good promo. You're just a fucking hater." Who jerks off to fucking Ricochet. You jack off to Will Ospreay. You get your lotion and you touch yourself to every Omega match on YouTube. And you lock your door in your basement. So 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 your mom can't fucking walk in. So your mom can't walk in on you, bitch. But anyway, don't 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 you dare compare Goldberg to fucking Ricochet, you bitch. Okay? Don't don't you dare compare Ricochet to fucking Ray Mysterio Jr. Bitch. Talk about Ray was never a good promo. Yeah, but he was a better promo than fucking Ricochet. 
I believed what Ray was talking about. Every word that came out of his mouth, I believed it. You ain't got to talk like the Miz. You ain't got to talk like the fucking Rock. But I need to believe what you, what you were saying. Believe in the story you were trying to tell me on the microphone. You ain't got to be Stone Cold. You ain't got to be Triple H. But I need to believe what you were saying. I don't believe, I don't believe Ricochet. I believe Ricochet is remembering lines. He's not natural. Ray seems natural when he talks. Like I said, he, he ain't he ain't the rock, but I believe what he what he's talking about. See, all you all you idiots say, all you idiots think if a nigga don't talk like the fucking rock or stone cold, he can't talk. No, nah, bitch, it don't work that way. Everybody don't gotta talk like the men's or the rock, but you gotta be believable on a on a mic. Goldberg is believable on the microphone, bitch. You saying Goldberg sucks? Well, huh? He he is paid two million dollars per year, probably more than that, to wrestle five matches. Sometimes less than that. Why? Because he's a fucking draw. He puts asses in seats. He sells tickets. Because he only has five moves. What does that tell you? He has five moves, but he still puts asses in fucking seats. Ricochet has 20 moves. He don't put asses in fucking... He don't put asses in fucking Burger King. Okay? He don't put asses in fucking McDonald's. Okay? So, yeah. Fuck you and your fucking notion. You know what I'm saying? Ray, Ray Mysterio, he could talk. He made you believe what he was saying. And Goldberg. Goldberg don't need to, to talk for fucking 20 minutes to have you believe what he is saying. His promo on uh, Lashley, I believe what he was saying. Bitch. So let's get back to what Jericho said. How do you fuck up Ricochet? It's quite simple. I mean, what is his character? I mean, I don't know what he is. One minute, he's a cosplay Spider-Man. Then the next minute, he's wearing jeans. I mean, I don't know what he is. This is a guy that don't want to get better. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want to get better. He just wants to have flips and dives and kicks. Now, let's get back to fucking Shane Thorne. Huh? Huh? Let's get back to Shane Thorne. Shane Thorne, he's the new Crocodile Dundee. And you smarks are saying he's buried. How can Vince do this to him? Even though it was his idea. But let's get back to him. At least he's trying to get over it. At least, at least he's trying to have a character. He's trying to make the audience remember him in some kind of way. He's trying to have a character, at least. He's not sitting back and saying, I should get pushed because I'll do flips and, and dives and kicks. Shane Thorne he he can work in the fucking ring, man. He's a good rug red guy. But do you give it do you give a flying fuck about him? Were you talking about Shane Thorne when he was when he when he was fucking slap dick? Okay? When he was fucking slap dick, were you talking about him? No. You were saying when is he going to get fired? Bitch. Huh? So don't Jump on the Shane Thorne hate train now, bitch. Where were you at when he was fucking slap dick? Now, now he's fucking uh, um, Steve Irwin now. And now he's trying to get over. He, he's he's trying at least to be something instead of some bland guy with a, with a fucking mask. Ricochet ain't trying 
Look, this is how I would book Ricochet. Put him in a tag team with another charismatic guy who can talk. You see, he was exposed with Ali. He was exposed with Cedric Alexander. You know why? Because all three guys are fucking boring and fucking bland. You got to put him in a tag team with with uh, Shawn Michaels or somebody. A guy like that. He, Ricochet, look, man, stop it. Stop it, man. Just look, he's probably a fucking nice guy, but he needs to be Marty motherfucking Janetti in a tag team. That's what he is, man. He needs to be motherfucking Marty Janetti. He is not that guy. How do you fuck a ricochet? What? 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 What is he? What the fuck is he, man? I mean, how can a casual audience be a fan of his? Nigga, what makes you more special than Cedric Alexander? What makes you more special than Will Ospreay? I don't know. What makes you more special than Dale Garcia? What makes you more special than Sammy G? What makes you more special than Jungle Boy? What makes you stand out, Ricochet? What? And look, he, he's, a, he's a nice guy, but enough. Enough of this. We got to stop this, man. About how the WWE fucked their Ricochet. Are they holding him back? No, they are not. He is where he should be. He is in the big leagues, man. Okay? AEW is nothing more than an indie promotion with on a high budget because they don't care about your mic skills or your character. All they care about is you putting on five star matches. Vince McMahon hates the word professional wrestling. He likes sports entertainment. He don't care about your fucking flips, your dives, and your fun kicks. He don't, he don't care about that. He, he don't care, man. Damn. Like I'm, I'm just sick of this, man. I'm tired of, I'm tired of guys like Jericho, with this, with this false narrative, man. About he has good work rate, which means he's entitled. He is entitled. Remember, he is entitled to get pushed more than uh, I don't know, John Morrison or, or somebody. He is entitled to get pushed more than the Miz because he has a good work rate. Look, Ricochet makes AJ Styles look like The Rock on the fucking microphone. And you you had these virgin podcasters saying Ricochet should be AJ Styles. He ain't he ain't AJ, man. He ain't AJ. AJ has gotten better and better and better each year ever since he turned heel. Okay. AJ is in his 40s. How come he's getting better and better and better on the fucking microphone? Huh? Let's let's start putting more respect on AJ Styles' name. He's in his 40s. And he's just now getting better and better and better on the fucking microphone. Where's Ricochet's improvement? There's nothing. These he is improved. He's He's making no improvements. He's been on the main roster for like, what, four years? Where has he improved at? Come on, man. He's the same guy from NXT. He's the same nigga. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> let me, let, let, let this sink in. People were saying... Well, look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Sammy G. He has no character. He is not a good talker on the microphone. And now he's a, he's a champion in AW. <laughs> well, that ain't nothing to brag about. So I could be an awful talker. I, I, can, I can have no character. And AW will make me a champion. Hey, yo, man. Trevor. Good old Rick. Take your ass to AW, man. <laughs> Ricochet, take your ass to AEW. They're calling your name over there, man. It's for you. 
Just wait till your contract expire. Take your ass to AEW, man. Because they are pushing guys with no character and no my skills. That is your company. You are an AEW wrestler in waiting. That's all you, man. Take your ass over there. <laughs> they love flippy dippy guys with no, with no character. They love it. I mean, damn. I mean, let this sink in. Do you know that um, Sammy G and, and um, fucking Ricochet, they have the same finisher? That's how bland both those guys are. They got the same flippy dippy finisher. So, yes, Ricochet, take your ass over there. Take your ass over there, man. Enough. Enough with this, man. Enough with you marks crying over flippy dippy ruck ray guys getting no TV time on WWE television. Crying that Johnny, Johnny Gargano is not on the main roster. Oh my God. I I hope, I pray he gets on, on the main roster, actually. <laughs> Just so y'all can shut up. Just so he could be in catering Chasing around Reggie. Because that's his silly. Chasing around Reggie. I hope you know I hope you know that, right? It's enough of this narrative that just because I can do flips and kicks, I should be in the fucking main event. Enough. Fuck that narrative, man. We need characters in this business. We need larger than life dudes. Who want to be characters. Gimmicks. God damn man. How you going. Sign up for wrestling school. And you want to wrestle like. Like everybody else nigga. Nah fuck you. I want to be Rick Rude. I want to be Brian Pillman. Okay bitch. I want to be Kurt. I want to be Kurt Angle. Know what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> The fuck, man? Why don't y'all want to be characters in this business? I want to be the Miz. I don't want to be fucking. I don't want to be fucking. Uh, what's the name? Um, Evan Bourne. I want to be the Miz. I don't want to be Evan motherfucking Bourne. You know. You know what the problem is? Do you know Ricochet? His all-time three favorite wrestlers. Is Evan Bourne, AJ, and Ray Mysterio Jr. I mean, let that sink in. If Evan Bourne is your favorite wrestler, you got problems, bro. You got serious issues, man. Serious issues. I mean, bro. I mean, I'm I'm done. <laughs> 